I just want to start by saying that this is not an April Fool's joke. That would be a cruel trick to play on the anxious community, so you don't have to worry. I'm not gonna get ya. Um, I didn't do a video last week because I was on a road trip, and I know that driving is kind of a big deal for anxious people, certainly is for me. I think that's when I have the worst panic attacks. Um, and just general anxiety. So I wanted to share with you some things when you're going on the road because summer's coming up and there's a lot more road trips that come with it. So things to do when you're going on the road, things not to do, and also something new that I discovered that was really helpful uh, for me. So first of all, things to do. You want to drink a lot, a lot, a lot of water for two reasons. One, obviously, so you stay hydrated and alert. And two, so that you can pull over more to go to the bathroom and that means you can get out of the car. Because getting out of the car is great <laughs> when you're anxious and in the car. So even if it's just on the side of the road, just drink a bunch of water because then you have like a reason you don't feel like, you know, oh, I'm wasting time or getting off track or whatever, not sticking to the schedule. Just, just do it. Just do it. Trust me. It helped. Um, another thing too is, well, of course, I'm, you're not going to ever find a video of me not telling you to use peppermint oil and orange oil because they just, they're so refreshing. Peppermint in particular when you're driving, it just keeps you awake, keeps you alert. It's The orange is really calming. So then together they make you, it's just, you feel better. I think anyone, even people who don't have anxiety tend to get a little bit anxious, especially on long road trips. And the one I was on was a 10 hour, 10 hour drive two ways. So, you know, even for people who don't, really suffer from anxiety or panic attacks they're not nobody wants to be in the car for that long um so for your friends too that's another thing don't go alone i almost did take this trip alone and i'm so glad that i did it because it was rough for me being with a person who was very calming for me and i still had a hard time so i can't imagine i would have had a complete wacko meltdown if i was out there alone don't go alone don't go alone. Another thing is your snacks. They should be healthy. So really try to avoid sugary gas station food. I know it's so tempting. Um, I get bubble gum because it's, you know, it's just a block of pure sugar in your mouth. So it's enough sugar for the day. And it's, it's a chewing also is a stress reliever and it's something to redirect your focus and, you know, kind of rein in your, you just, <laughs> while you're anxious instead of, you know, veering off the road and getting all crazy and that kind of a thing. So chewing gum really helps, but try not to eat all the candy, the chips, just all the junk food. It's not going to do anything good for your brain. That goes for the rest of your life too, but particularly when you're stuck in a car for 10 hours. And on that note, um, so things that I've Eight, like I sliced up cucumbers and radishes and put like salt, pepper, and just put them in a little container. And then in one of those, like they get them like at Walmart or anywhere, like a freezer bag to keep them cold. Or you can just put it in a cooler with ice, whatever. You get the idea. Um, just like healthy, eat healthy vegetables, minimal fruits because fruit has a ton of sugar too, but fruit's fine. Just again, just try to stay away from the candy, all that gas station crap. It's crap. It's just don't eat it. Um, okay, I'll, I'll stop being a sugar Nazi now. Another thing too is, so drink lots of water, hydrate, hydrate. And on that same vein, don't drink so much coffee. Like you want to be alert, especially if you're driving, but you know your limitations with caffeine and your relationship with caffeine and anxiety. So don't overdo it. I made that mistake a lot. Um, I'm always going to make that mistake because I love coffee, but <laughs> don't do it if you're driving, especially if you're driving alone. But here's what I want to share that was so awesome for me that I'd never tried before is getting out of the car for a while and just going on like a little mini hike or just a little mini excursion on the side of the road. There happened to be, I think it's called Wilson's Arch that I drove through. Um, so the hike was not real treacherous, but it was, you know, somewhat challenging and I was wearing the complete wrong shoes. So I had to be very cautious and careful and alert and watching every step. And that really redirected my focus and it took away the anxiety. So when I got back in the car, I was fresh again for a few hours, um, you know, before I had to do it again, because that's how anxiety works. You don't really ever get rid of it all the way. So I'm not saying pull over to the side of the road and go on a crazy hike in the wrong shoes. <laughs> That just happened to be what I did. So maybe throw in, you know, like a pair of walking shoes or 
tennis shoes or whatever if you're not already wearing them and keep that in mind to just getting out of the car is great it's great for your anxiety and don't do it alone have someone with you a hippo watch the hippo video that's all guys i hope no one plays cruel april fool's jokes on you just ignore it all have a good weekend bye